To run LinkedIn ads successfully, you have to have a follow-up system for nurturing and following up with people who respond initially to your ads. What your LinkedIn ads are doing are building a pool of potential prospects. So your LinkedIn ads are here. We're going to be running LinkedIn ads for lead generation. We're going to be affordably and effectively sending people to a lead form. So LF1 stands for lead form one. So we're not sending them to your website, we're sending them to a LinkedIn hosted lead form where we're going to offer them a lead magnet, which will normally be some kind of guide, checklist, template, something that helps your ideal client start to solve a specific urgent problem, a problem that they are willing and able to pay to have solved. We're going to help them start to solve it. We're not going to completely solve it. We're not going to send them the full manual. We're just going to send them a snippet of something that's fast to consume and it's going to be immediately useful to them. So when they fill in the form, there's a few things that happen. We add them to your email systems. So you'll need an email marketing system. On that first email that goes out, you'll introduce yourself, who you are, what you stand for. You'll also deliver the thing that they've opted in for. So they don't get it on LinkedIn. It's not on the LinkedIn form thank you page. They have to go and check their email. So they can't enter daffyduck at gmail.com. It has to be a proper email that they go and check. That's the first litmus test, if you like. Something you can do in that first email is then also offer them a printed bonus guide. And this should be a slightly expanded version of your lead magnets. The reason I've left this in the core system is that email alone can, so, so you can build a system by just having email alone. So you have LinkedIn ads, lead form, people fill in the lead form, you send them the lead magnet, the template, the checklist, the guide. In the checklist template guide, you have a link to your time-based offer. Your time-based offer is to book a call, is to have some time with you, Potentially, it's to attend a webinar or an automated webinar. It's some it's something that gives them a little bit of your time, either on a real or automated basis. This then gets them into your sales process and with the goal of moving them towards your full offer to converting them into a full paying client, consulting gig, program member, etc. After the initial email it delivers in the lead magnet, you're going to send what I call your lead incubator sequence. This is a series of writing prompts that explores who you are, what you stand for. It demonstrates your understanding of the problem. It shows that you are a credible person to solve this problem and it presents your vision for the future. At the end of the lead incubator, you're also going to then invite them to your time-based offer. So there's two, so that's the first invite. This is the second invite. If they don't respond, you're going to add them to your long-term nurture. That could be a weekly email. It could be a fortnightly podcast. You might even have some products in here as like a downsell. So you might have a book, you might have a course. There's some other, there's some other permutations and other options here. But at the point where they opt in, I would also say, you know, thanks for opting in. We've also, I've also, I'd also like to send you a second gift. And this gift comes in the mail. It's a slightly expanded version of the lead magnet. It gives you more detail. It, it, it helps you solve more of the problem, but we send it in the mail. So we need your mailing address. What I found is that all the people who are immediately ready or, or are most likely to take your time-based offer and become a client, usually, usually they'll give you their mailing address as well. What I found in my work is that about half of the people who opt in, as long as you've got the lead magnet right and you're solving a pressing problem that helps them move forward in their business straight away, about half of the people will give you their mailing address to get the mailing bonus. Obviously, at the end of the mailing bonus, so what I do is I use a service called Stamp, which is an affordable uh, direct mail service where I'm not sending it manually. It's triggered from the CRM system when they enter their details. And it's 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 highly affordable. You know, it costs under a pound to send them a folded A3, which comes down to a four-page A5 booklet, if you like. Um, and at the end of that, at the end of that, four page A5 booklet, you reiterate your time-based offer. If you find this helpful, if you'd like to shortcut the learning curve, if you want to move a bit faster, book a call. You know, I, I do so many free consults a week, or we do a webinar each month, 
where we have an automated webinar, go to this link. So again, you reiterate the time-based offer. After a period of time, maybe a week later, if they still haven't responded, you might trigger another mailing sequence. So you might start sending them a postcard or two that has your face in, you know, show, show yourself, you know, don't hide behind some stock images, send them the postcard sequence that, that picks up on specific things you mentioned in, in the lead magnet. You know, if you mention something specific, send them a postcard that drills into that specific thing. Have you thought about the problem from this particular angle? So you can start to nudge them as well by direct mail. So we've got a dual um, effect going on here. You know, the, the main thing we're doing is we're focusing on emails to follow up with people, build trust with them, tell our story, hopefully get them to know, like, and trust us, or at least know, at least know and like us. It's perhaps the time-based offer that's going to get them to trust you. And we're also sending them direct mail, so we are communicating with them in different media. And that's, that's going to help to hold their attention much more so than just one channel. So I'll leave this here. Hopefully that's been interesting. Get in touch if you'd like to implement implement this in your business.